Good morning, YouTube. It's your boy, Christopher, coming back at you again with a video. Today, we're going to be making a uh, If It Fits Your Macros full day of eating video. I'm going to be uh, making my goal. So for today, we're going to be eating um, roughly 160, 165 grams of protein. We're going to be eating about 320 grams of carbohydrates and about 50, 55 grams of fat. So we're trying to keep fat low, carbohydrates moderately high, and protein pretty moderately high as well. That's my, those are my macros. I'm doing that during my cut so I can be losing some weight. And uh, I can't wait to show you guys exactly what I eat in a day. As a matter of fact, before I go to work, I want to show you guys what I have for breakfast here. I got, ready? This uh, super delicious and uh, delectably high protein with zero fat and zero added sugars. Uh, it's This thing is really, really good. And I also have a frozen one of these guys. It's an English muffin uh, with turkey sausage and egg whites. That's also low in fat. I'm going to be, uh, I'll actually show you guys here. 260 calories. 8 grams of fat, um, 32 grams of carbs, and 17 grams of protein, plus the 15 grams of protein here. So I'm going to be already getting 32 grams of protein right off the bat. So I think this is going to be a great way to start the day, and I'll be coming back at you again during my work. Woo! What's up, YouTube? All right, it's time for lunch now. So what I got here is a mean 7.7 .7 ounces of chicken breast. It was This thing was nine ounces when I cooked it, but you know, I guess uh, 1.3 ounces just wanted to run out it's water weight, but I got some broccoli. I don't weigh all my veggies and I got 200 grams of rice in there. So we're gonna kill this, get some energy for the rest of the day and uh, come back at you with dinner time. Actually, pre-workout meal because I do eat a pre-workout meal. So I'll see you guys then later. Woo, all right, we happen to be home right now and we got our next meal right here. So I got some fiber one cereal. Uh, I like to eat about one and a half servings of this. So I'll usually weigh out 78 grams of this bad boy right there with all that fiber. Why is it not focusing? There it goes. And uh, get some carbs get some fiber, uh, low fat, and uh, I'll usually do eight ounces of the skim milk. We got zero grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, and eight grams of protein. Make that balanced meal, pre-workout, get in all the uh, fats, get in, well, actually, we're not getting in the fats, we're getting in all the carbs and a little bit of protein for our workout. So, uh, actually, you guys might be wondering, well, Chris, why are you working out in a, you know, chinos and a belt and a polo and you ain't working out, you're lying to us. Yeah, well, I have to actually cut the workout today because I'm going to a memorial service. So there's that. And there's going to be pizza at the memorial service, which is why I purposely ate low fat today. I'm going to be showing uh, more of my fitness pal on the screen to show where I am currently at with my uh, macros. All right, time for the My Fitness Pal clip. So what we got here is my daily that I've eaten so far, breakfast and lunch. I got 100 grams of protein, 187 grams of carbohydrates, and only 12 grams of fat to show. So keeping it low on the fat so I can eat more tonight. And I kind of am going to guesstimate the amount of calories in the pizza tonight. I'll try to limit myself, but also have a, enough to have a good time. So we'll see what happens. So I will see you on the flip-flop. All right, everybody. There's like a 0% chance that you're going to hear me talking right now. But this is what I got for my last meal. I got pizza. I got some uh, pasta. I got a little salad here. So that's what I'm trying to do. I've created some kind of a balance for the day. So as you can see, you can still fit pizza and pasta into your macros. You just got to be able to make some balance with what you eat for the whole entire day. So I'm going to be showing my fitness pal on the screen right now. So part two, sometimes you have to be able to guesstimate what you eat. You can't ever put in a precise amount. So based on my guesstimation here, I got a lot more fat into my diet, almost another 31 more grams of fat. And we definitely also added in some carbs too. Uh, that worked out well because I did decide last minute that I was going to go to the gym. 
but sometimes you can't always track exactly what you're going to have. So it's really good to be able to guesstimate. At least you'll know the ballpark that you're in when you're count tracking your calories. What's up, YouTube? I am uh, at the gym tonight. I thought I wouldn't be at the gym, you know? I thought that I was all pizza and pasta out. But here I am. I have a bang with me. And I have to really, really recommend this flavor. Purple Haze is so good it's like liquefied smarty and i can't tell you guys how much i love smarties it's probably one of my favorite candies out there which is i feel like it's basic but i'll be a becky on this one so yeah smarties definitely my favorite and i know what you guys are thinking you guys are like well chris you know it's eight o'clock at night the gym's only open for another hour it's freezing outside what are you doing, dude? You could be home. You could be snuggled up with your girlfriend. You could be playing video games. Yep, well, you know what? Tonight, I'm just like you. I'm a forever aloner because my girlfriend's doing a show, so she's busy. So, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, okay? I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna drink this bang at 8 o'clock at night so I won't sleep till 2 in the morning. I'm gonna do me. But, after this workout, I'm gonna come back and hit you guys up with... Uh, my dessert, AKA the cheat code. So stay tuned for that, all right? See you later. Ah. All right, guys, I'm back with my last meal for the day. So let me guys, let me show you guys what I am going to be finishing my night with. So first things we got here is we got 144 grams of uh, frozen strawberries. And then we got some fruity cereal milk, ghost whey protein, and this actually tastes exactly like fruity cereal milk. It's fruity pebbles, 100% like fruity pebbles. And we've got skim milk. So here's the, uh, here's the secret. We're gonna turn, turn this guy that way. And then we are going to pour in eight fluid ounces of skim milk or you know, roughly that amount, maybe a little over. That's okay. I'm one-handing it, so I'm allowed to. Uh, I'm allowed to mess mess up a little. Next thing we got here is a scoop of the good good. We got a scoop of the good good. That bad boy goes in there like such. All right, shake it off, shake it up, and last but not least. We got the frozen strawberries. Oh God, let's just hope that this does not overflow. Come on, get in there you asshole. Okay, now we shall blend some bitch. You guys ready for this? Quality content. <laughs> How you, that's how you really blend it. Just like that. All right. It is done. It is beautiful. It already comes in a to-go cup. So I might just ditch that stuff and drink it out of this. And there we go, guys. That's gonna wrap up my night. I'll have my macros on the screen to show you guys exactly what I eat all day long. And, uh, there you have it, full day of eating. All right, and that wraps up everything I've eaten for the day. All I need to do is just add in those strawberries. As you guys can see, I already have it uh, populated into my history. So I usually do 1.4 grams, so that made it easy to add it. Now let's take a look at everything. So my goals today were about 165 grams of protein, uh, 320 grams of carbs, and 55 grams of fat. So as you can see, I've basically hit those. I would uh, estimate that I probably went over on the carbs and the fat because of the pizza and pasta. But there you have it. Now you guys can see that uh, calculating your macros for the whole day isn't as bad as it looks. So hopefully that helped you guys in doing the same thing. And if you liked what you saw, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I always appreciate the support. Thank you for being the best viewers a YouTuber could ask for. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.